everybody, this is Tony, and I got stage 3 rectal cancer, and today we're going to go over the results of my recent MRI and my Flex SIG. Um, I've been on Fimbendazole and CBG for about two and a half months. Uh, I got my wife here, Terry, and uh, she's, she's real thrilled to be on camera, so you can probably tell. Um, we're going to go over the results here in just a moment, but, you know, I want to tell you, the results for the most part were exactly what I was expecting. Um, we'll get to the actual results in a second, but let's review. People on the internet, people that I know in person, um, they've all been saying that I look healthier. What do you think? It, you know, in the last yeah. couple months, you think I've been looking a little bit better? Mm -hmm. um, overall, I feel like I've actually been healthier. Um, my watch, I use the Apple Watch here, and I started tracking it. <clears throat> the other day we were in Phoenix after the Flex Sig, and you know I wasn't feeling very good, and I looked at my watch because you know not feeling good is probably the anesthesia talking. But I looked at my watch, and I started looking at the health records on it, um, the walking, the active energy, and stuff like that. And you could actually see the decline when I was going through chemo and radiation. Um, I showed Terry and I got that one. You could see a, a very sharp uprise after radiation. You, what would you think? Probably about 20% more or 20 times better. Yeah. Um, so, ju you know, <clears throat> June, July was pretty active for me. Um, I'll post a, a picture of that here in a moment. Um, also, um, so, you know, <clears throat> June, July was pretty active for me. Um, I'll post a, a picture of that here in a moment. Um, <clears throat> also, the walking, the distances, they went up. The health meter and the walking, all that around September when the yes. surgeon said, hey, I think I see something or feel something, it started to decline and steadily declined all the way to December. Uh, for some reason, there's a sharp uprise in December. Um, not sure what it was. I don't know if there was a glitch in my watch or what. But the last three months after that, you know, this, so January, February, and part of March, you start seeing an up, uh, uh, another upswing. And that's after I started Finbendazole and the CBG heavily. Um, so I'm pretty pos positive that I'm getting healthier. I think the watch is showing that I'm getting healthier and all the above there. Um, so I'm pretty pos positive that I'm getting healthier. I think the watch is showing that I'm getting healthier and all the above there. Uh, my CEA, as reported in a previous video, you know, that, that tumor marker showing that it's the lowest it's ever been. And uh, I was pretty happy about hearing that when the doctor office called me. Um, the other thing is weight gain. Until my new diet, <clears throat> my weight actually came back up about 10, 10, 12 pounds from where it was in December before I started doing the, the Fenbendazole and the CBG and the rest of the regimen I'm doing. Um, with the new diet, of course, with no sugar, no carbs, I've been losing weight. Terry's been on it with me, and she's lost weight as well, but she's doing it for that purpose. Uh, bathroom breaks are less frequent. Um, ever since I started the Fenbendazole and everything else, they've actually been getting even more or less frequent, uh, better stool, and also the blood has decreased significantly. Now, my doctor, well, let's first start with, what do you think the results were? Drop a comment down below. Let me know, before I even go on, let me know what you thought they were. Did, you know, is it still showing cancer? Is it, is it less cancer? Is it something different? Tell me what your opinion is. We're not going to tell them yet. Mm. <laughs> that means she has to be on camera just a little bit longer. So <clears throat> the MRI, when my surgeon called, she actually, let's start with what she told me the day of. She said she said that she saw something. She, she believes it to be new growth over what was there. The... Uh, MRI, when she called me the next day, I asked her what the MRI showed because she told me she was guessing that it had a 10 to 20% growth. But 
the MRI is really what measures anything. Guessing is just a guess in my book. Guessing is I saw something, it, it could have been from a different angle, whatever, it could be different. What do you think? <laughs> so <clears throat> the surgeon looks at the MRI and she's reading through it. And guess what? There's no measurements. So my, my question is, if you don't have measurements on an MRI, and you're trying to tell me there's new growth, how can you give me a number? How can we go off of just, yep, there's new growth? MRIs are supposed to measure. I should be able to get a measurement. Those MRI images I'm requesting uh, from December and from this last one, and we're gonna actually have someone else read them, see if we can get a measurement from somebody else I need to know this kind of stuff before I just say, yeah, just cut me open. So they did share with me the MRI images. They did show me the flex sig images. And here's what I see. I see something different as well. But the other thing we agreed both on, yeah. both of us, those were not from the same slice on the MRI. They were not from the same position, uh, position on the camera. So... I need to see more definitive than just, to me, that's a guess if you don't have the exact same positioning. Um, so I'm kind of hesitant on that, just jumping into surgery, just because of, a, you know, that we're guessing. Um, the surgeon did voice her opinion, and her opinion is that I am out of the realm of data that they have, and I get that. And I do understand that if I go any further, the surgery could get even more involved than what it would be right now. But, you know, even if you have surgery, the cancer can still spread. It can still end up somewhere else. Um, certain cancers, I've been told, when they open you up and expose you to oxygen, even uh, they spread just because of that. I don't think that's the kind I have, but that, that's one of the things that can happen. Um, of course, I'm against the bad because it's life altering, and uh, but you'll live. I'll live, maybe. <laughs> oh, stop it! Um, but I won't look very good in a speedo with that bag hanging over the speedo, you know. So I'll make it pretty. Oh, okay. You gonna crochet something for me? Sure. <laughs> so if I postpone this and still need a surgery later, you know, so be it. It could get into my prostate. It's not into my lymph nodes. But it could, you know, it could it could potentially spread, yes. But I don't think that it's grown enough to spread. Um, if I wait, it's going to definitely, if I still need it, it's going to mess with our anniversary trip in June. But, you know, so, Who cares? so be it. She, she's going to be patient, she, she says. Yes. We'll go in December when it's cold up here. Right. Um, so let me tell you what my, well, it's kind of our decision. I mean, <laughs> no. What do you want me to do right now? I don't know. I need more. More info. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you why I'm I'm opting to want to keep trying. The reason I want to keep trying is number one, the finbendazole that I was taking, which is that Sinair Labs. There's a lot of controversy if it's even got finbendazole in it, which really upsets me. Um, if it does not, you guys will know, and I will be after that company like flies on whatever. <laughs> um, and if anything happens to me, I'm pretty sure Terry's going to be over there in their face in the UK. Um, I am going to send off the finbendazole that I was taking along with Safeguard, which is what I'm taking right now. The Safeguard, the actual dog dewormer, I'm going to be taking that until I figure this out. Um, I'm going to have a lab do a blind test on both of them. Uh, I'll crush them up to where they both look identical and send it off in A and B bags. Um, the other thing is I had just started no carbs, no sugar about three weeks or so prior to actually, um, getting the results of this. Um, on top of that, uh, Alternative methods do not just work immediately. Um, that 10 to 20% that she's even guessing, any growth at all, could still happen just from 
the fact that it doesn't take long to or it takes forever or not forever but for a little bit longer than what like chemo or radiation is going to take so you're not going to see that big difference right away um, this is something that i believe you definitely have to be patient in i i really want to give it a four to five month trial because that's the only way it's really going to show anything um, i feel safe doing it still I really do. The cancer, like I said, has not spread to anywhere. The MR or the CAT scan showed clear. Um, they're saying that it's not in my lymph nodes or liver. The surgeon even said that if it gets to my liver, she's actually not worried about that because she can just remove the pieces. Um, <clears throat> the the liver part also. I've been seeing a finbendazole where people have met to the liver and they're actually seeing a lot of success. So, you know, I'm not too off worried about that. Um, and, you know, if if I don't, if I can get away with not doing this surgery, or at least not yet, <clears throat> um, if, I, if I give it this chance just a little bit longer, I'm not gonna have the possibility of a life-altering surgery. Plus the, like Terry and I have talked, is the doubt, the wonder. What am I going to be doing for the rest of my life if I quit this now? And, you know, I'm sitting there doubting myself, wondering and mad now because I've got a bag and I, I didn't give it everything I did. Um, I'm seeing people cure with finbendazole supposedly um, for rectal cancer. But, you know, if I don't give it that everything I've got, can do, try, I think, well, you know me best. What? How am I going to be? Annoying. Annoying. <laughs> probably beat myself up um <clears throat> i won't be a happy camper i won't be nice or be um i won't be a nice person to be around probably no. um you know my 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 attitude that i have in front of you guys all the time that's the attitude i try to keep um but when i start beating myself up if i get in that position it goes dark unfortunately and a lot of people i don't expect any different from them um you know, some people, they can't get past the scared factor. They can't get past the, um, you got to just give this its, it's uh, due time. And I really think that I'm going to be able to do that and cure from it and keep talking to you guys, you know. And I, I hope that I can do that. But for the meantime, you know, a couple takeaways. I want, if you were doing that scenario lab, be cautious until I can figure out what's really going on. I'm getting ready to send those la uh, off to the lab here in another, sometime probably this week or the beginning of next week, I'll get that sent off. Uh, it just takes a little bit of money, of course. Uh, but I'm willing to do that for myself, for you guys. And not only am I doing this for you guys and myself, I'm also doing this because my kids are at risk. Um, we talked about that a little bit too, the two of us. And, you know, my kids risk not being able to uh, get past this as well. I mean, it could be hereditary, even though it doesn't come up in that mutated gene. Uh, that's Still. another one. We, yeah. What, what's your feelings on that? I mean, that test. It's from a spit test. Yeah, I know they say it's good, but I, I'm starting to wonder I big want time. The blood test. There you go. You have it. She wants the blood test. Um, you know, but just be cautious with anything you do. Whatever you do, do. Make sure it's right for you. Make sure you make that decision, not somebody else. Um, you know, but I will inform you anything I know. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I might be doing a live video Saturday around noon. I'm not certain yet. I got to see what I've got going on. Um, but keep keep an eye on the the post on the uh, the community board. I'll, I'll I'll let you guys know if we're going to do one and go from there. But uh, what did, what's your what else you got for closing what do you feel about this what do you please don't wear a speedo <laughs> you heard it right here she's not taking a picture if i do apparently nope so you guys are safe you guys have a great day don't forget to subscribe comment down below and share this with everybody you know have a great day